Good evening, I'm Shukam Hamad and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Skir Palace today the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Japan, the Kingdom of Thailand, the People's Republic of China and the United Arab Emirates. The ambassador of Japan, Hideko Ito, arrived at Skhir Palace, where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of the Kingdom of Thailand, Tenis Nasonkla, arrived at Skhir Palace, where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. The newly appointed ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the ambassador of the Kingdom of Thailand and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of the People's Republic of China and Wa'er arrived at Skhir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, arrived at Skhir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him.
The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. His Majesty exchanged with the new ambassadors welcoming speeches on the occasion, hailing the relations between Bahrain and their friendly and brotherly countries and their progress in all fields, wishing the ambassadors success in their diplomatic duties of enhancing cooperation with the kingdom. The ambassadors conveyed the greetings of their country's leaders and their wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty and of further progress and prosperity to the kingdom, commending the ties between their countries and Bahrain. Also present were the Minister of the Royal Court, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of the Royal Court's follow-up and the Royal Protocol's chief. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sghir Palace Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah bin Ali Al Khalifa upon the issuance of the royal decree appointing him head of the Bahraini diplomatic mission for the United Arab Emirates as an extraordinary and plenipotentiary ambassador where he performed the legal oath in front of His Majesty. His Majesty the King congratulated Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah, hailing his competency in taking this national responsibility, hailing his success in this new diplomatic duty. His Majesty directed the ambassador to reinforce and consolidate Bahraini-UAE relations and affirm the importance of supporting the people of Bahrain and meeting their needs. He praised the outstanding historic relations and fraternal ties between Bahrain and the UAE and the mutual keenness to consolidate and develop them to serve the interests of both countries. His Majesty directed the ambassador to convey his greetings to the Vice President and Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and to the Emirati people for their progress and prosperity. For his part, the ambassador thanked His Majesty the King and affirmed that His Majesty's directives motivate him to perform his national duty. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa today patronized the opening ceremony of the 2018 Gulf International Exhibition for Building, Interior Design and Furniture. The event is being held at the Bahrain International Exhibition Center and organized by Al Hilal Group with the participation of major companies in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the GCC countries as well as international countries. His Royal Highness the Premier affirmed that the government has created an environment that supports investment in the real estate sector. He also affirmed that the government is implementing development projects according to a well-thought-out vision backed by a private sector that is motivated to participate constructively in the real estate development, which made Bahrain attract investors in this sector. His Royal Highness toured the exhibition and was briefed by the organizers and participants about the projects and industrial products used in the sectors of construction, interior design, decoration and furniture, hailing the excellent organization of the events. His Royal Highness highlighted that the real estate and construction sector in Bahrain is witnessing continuous development, which is evidenced by the number and size of new projects that are being implemented in the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed the importance of holding international specialized exhibitions as they provide a platform to showcase the promising opportunities the kingdom enjoys in various sectors. He went on to hail the key role played by the private sector and real estate developers in backing the government through holding housing and entertainment projects, asserting that such cooperation has led to elevating the kingdom's status on the map of real estate investments. His Royal Highness noted the real estate projects witnessed by the GCC countries solidifies these countries' steps made towards sustainable development, adding that the GCC countries possess financial and human resources that will enable them to provide a better standard of living for their citizens. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the private sector in organizing specialized exhibitions, citing the role of Al Hilal Group in organizing this event that keeps witnessing a growing number of visitors along with exhibitors every year. For his part, the board chairman of Al Hilal Group, Anwar Abdurrahman, expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keen interest to boost the conference and exhibition industry, which has become an essential part of the national economy. Managing Director of Al Hilal Conferences and Exhibitions, Jibran Abdurrahman, said the exhibition has attracted several participants and visitors and has become a place for communication and deal-making.
the Gulf property show uh, happening for the 12th time here in Bahrain. It's uh, becoming a major event uh, because it's a three exhibition in one and uh, it truly reflects uh, the size of construction, the size of development, and the size of projects and investment uh, currently happening in Bahrain uh, all uh, in the same time. It also reflects uh, that uh, Bahrain, uh, uh, for the last uh, couple of years, have gone through uh, a major change as far as uh, dealing with the projects, uh, the type of projects, the quality of the projects, and variety of the projects. There's quite a significant difference because this year we are approximately 20% bigger in terms of the actual size of the show. Uh, last year we had about 120 uh, exhibitors, this year we've reached nearly 160. And also the other significant aspect is that we've got a lot of the government uh, authorities involved with the property business who are actually getting involved with the show. So we're very excited. It's definitely an indication that the market is improving and that uh, we as uh, a, an organizing organization are doing even better. We're not strangers to this expo. We've been participating for, uh, for the last five years. Uh, uh, we've seen the progress every year and we're proud to be here. Uh, of course, the Al-Muharraq is one of the biggest uh, development projects in Bahrain. Uh, uh, we, are, we are announcing a few new coming up projects in terms of the new villas, different sizes of villas, and instead of only plots. Uh, in addition to that, we're meeting some investors from uh, outside Bahrain, international investors. And it's a great way to exhibit our project and showing the, all the details of the project. And as you see, the, uh, there's a positive, I would say, energy in this exhibition. Uh, we've noticed even the construction business, uh, we have lots of contractors, they are our uh, partners. We see them today. We're, it's nice to have everybody in the same exhibition. We've been participating in Gulf Property Show on an annual uh, basis. Uh, and Gulf Property Show, of course, is one of uh, the most important uh, property shows on, on the island. Visitors who are visiting uh, Canal View can be referred to the Delmonia uh, stand where we have the full model of, uh, of the island so they can know where uh, Canal View is uh, located and they would know the, the features around uh, uh, Canal View. Uh, the same goes by for, uh, for the other projects on uh, Delmonia. So we've, we've always made sure that the, uh, the Delmonia projects uh, are, are close by. The Bahraini Triathlon team, under the leadership of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, continues its preparations to participate in the Ironman North American Championship, which will be held in Texas next Saturday. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the current participation in the championship comes in line with the aspirations of the team to achieve positive results in various events, noting that his participation in the race comes in line with the preparation program to participate in the Kona race. He noted that the race witnessed the participation of many champions, which requires different participation methods, affirming that he is fully ready to participate in the championship. Sheikh Nasser added that the Bahraini team's participation reflects its keenness on benefiting from the championship, adding that it's an excellent opportunity to highlight the Bahraini team's abilities as well as the kingdom's outstanding achievements. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to the organizers of the championship for their extensive efforts, which reflects the keenness of the organizing committee on ensuring the success of the events. Bahrain's triathlon team continued its series of bike exercises for two hours, in addition to morning training classes and swimming. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pointed out that the team is committed to the training plan, which will be the basis of making further achievements.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahraini Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, reviewed the latest preparations for the launch of the Texas Ironman Championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed his readiness to participate in the event in Texas, which will be attended by a wide range of professionals and amateurs from all over the world, pointing out that he is exercising daily in Bahrain to gain physical and technical fitness, hoping to achieve outstanding results. His Highness said that his training program in Bahrain was a bit different because of the importance of the race, its location and its route, which requires extra effort and physical fitness. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said the participation in the Ironman Championship in Texas emphasizes the participation in the team in order to achieve keenness to achieve positive results in such important tournaments. He said the Ironman race will be very exciting in all its aspects as another experience and a place to compete and challenge to achieve outstanding results and he is ready to participate in the race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his confidence in the team members and their determination to end the race to confirm the position of the Bahrain Triathlon team, especially after the success of the team in his pioneering competitions. His Highness held his first swimming training yesterday. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa to attend the Thai Culture and Food Festival which was hosted by the designated ambassador of the Kingdom of Thailand Tanis Nasongla. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the leadership and people of Thailand. He underlined the progress of the Bahraini Thai relations in various fields reflecting the depth of the historical ties between the two countries and the two friendly peoples. He expressed his admiration for the festival's products, which expressed Thai folklore in the fields of culture and food. For his part, the ambassador of the Kingdom of Thailand expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support to develop relations between the two countries, stressing his country's keen desire to bolster aspects of cooperation with the Kingdom of Bahrain to achieve common interests and benefit the two friendly countries. The Representatives Council held its weekly meeting today, chaired by its Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mulla, in which the Council approved a draft law amending Article 3 of Decree Bylaw 14 of 2002 on exercising political rights. The Council also approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of the Court of Cassation Law issued under Decree Bylaw 8 of 1989. 
A draft law on issuing the personal data protection law has also been approved. The council approved a draft law on Bahrain Polytechnic University. The council approved a draft law ratifying an agreement between the Bahraini and Egyptian governments on avoiding double taxation and preventing tax evasion on income taxes. The draft law amending Article 4 of Law 28 of 2006 regarding Future Generations Reserve has been approved. The Council approved a draft law amending Article 127 BIS of the Criminal Procedure Code issued under Decree by Law 46 of 2002. A draft law amending Article 14 of Decree by Law 21 of 2015 on private health organizations has been approved. The Council approved a draft law amending Article 59 of the Real Estate Registration Law issued under Law 13 of 2013. The Council also approved a proposal on the Public Sector Labour Law issued under Law 36 of 2012. Another proposal on urban planning was approved. The Council also approved a proposal amending Article 2 of Decree by Law 25 of 2015 on the collection of the fees of infrastructure establishment and development. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed al Ramehi, attended the 15th Arab Media Forum held on the patronage of the Kuwaiti Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Jabir al Mubarak al Hamad al Sabah in Kuwait. The Minister affirmed that Arab Media Forums are an important platform for the exchange of experiences and views on various issues in the media and communication sector. He also noted that the rapid changes of media require extensive study and continuous reading of these developments, which is provided by such forums that unite media elites from the Arab world to discuss developments and propose effective solutions to deal with the changes in the field. Errol Meh has expressed pleasure in participating in the forum and thanked the Kuwaiti Prime Minister for patronizing it and Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah, for attending and showing interest in such forums. He commended the efforts of the forum's organizers, led by the Secretary General of the Arab Media Forum, Mad al Khamis, for the excellent organization and generous hospitality. The Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas received today in Ramallah the President of the Asian Football Confederation, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim al Khalifa, on the occasion of his official visit to Palestine. President Abbas granted Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim the Star of Jerusalem in recognition of his efforts in leading Asian football towards further progress and development and supporting Palestinian football in various forums. During the meeting, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim conveyed the greetings and wishes of abundant health and happiness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Palestinian President as well as his wishes of further progress and prosperity to the Palestinian people. For his part, President Abbas welcomed Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim and sent his greetings to His Majesty the King, commending the distinguished Bahraini-Palestinian relations and noting the Kingdom's stances in support of Palestine in different forums. Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim expressed thanks and appreciation to the President for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, as well as his pleasure in receiving the Star of Jerusalem.